simple recipe it's all done in one pot you're talking maybe an hour or so to get this done properly and the flavor is out of this world it is really really good so first things first let's talk about our ingredients six cups of milk one cup of medium grain rice if you got long grain that'll work too for this recipe, just try and avoid things like basmati rice or rices that are aromatic and that way, it'll just take away from the flavor. One thing I love about this recipe, it's not that sweet. Half a cup of sugar, a little bit of salt, a little bit of nutmeg, and cinnamon for garnish. At the end of this though, I'm going to show you a trick or I'm going to show you a twist on this that's going to throw this right out of the ballpark. So. Let's get the show on the road. We're gonna fire up our element here. It's all gonna get done in one pot and that's it. So, first things first, I'm gonna take my milk and very, very carefully just pour it in. Nothing to this at all. Perfect, just like that. I'm gonna take my one cup of rice. That's gonna go in there as well. Half a cup of sugar that's going to go in there a little bit of salt will go in there just not much maybe half a teaspoon that's all there is and we're just going to take a wooden spoon and slowly just start stirring this around this process here is what's going to take a little bit of patience from start to finish this is going to take about an hour Two things that I can stand in like rice pudding is rice that is al dente or it's got like a chew to it. This is a dessert. It's, it shouldn't be, it's not pasta. So if it's too chewy or too crunchy, it's like you got like a gritty sand in your mouth and that's no good. Second of all, or second thing you will never find in any of my rice puddings is raisins. You can fight me on this if you want, but the point is that to me, I see I see like raisins in there and it's like dead flies are like floating around in my pudding. So it's up to you. You can add like raisins, you can add walnuts. I don't, I keep it pure. Now, keep this stirring now until you start seeing small little bubbles forming around the rim of our milk mixture, milk and rice mixture. All right, so there we have our little bubbles forming around the sides or the rim of our milk, which is exactly what we want now. Things are happening perfectly. The next thing I add in here is a hint, and I mean a hint of nutmeg. And I'm just talking just a little bit, maybe less than an eighth of a teaspoon for that certain little kiss, not overpowering, just a little bit. And that's about right there. That's perfect, just like that. And keep moving this and keep kind of it, it going and stirring. You don't want this to catch on you. That's definitely not what you want. All right, so now that our nutmeg is in there and it's come up to the temperature we want, which is a little bit below boiling. I'm gonna reduce this right down to a low to medium low. Now this is something you don't wanna walk away from. Keep an eye on it, stirring it occasionally, making sure it doesn't stick on you on the bottom. And after an hour, we'll be ready to go to the next step. So now it's been about an hour or so. My pudding has tightened up nicely. 
it's thickened up exactly the way it should. Look at this. Nice and creamy, delicious. It smells unbelievable. It smells really, really country in here. So now, one of the last little tricks I'm going to show you and key to the flavor of this, this pudding. Here I have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Get, I know I sound like all Ina Garten and Barefoot Contessa and all that, but get the best extract or vanilla you can. If you can use vanilla beans themselves, perfect, use one vanilla bean. If not, two teaspoons of your, uh, the best quality vanilla. So now that my pudding is ready to go pretty much, I'm going to grab my ramekins here, a few little things, and just start filling them up. Alright, and that's my fourth ramekin filled there. Next thing, at this stage of the game is when I like to add my cinnamon on top, if you like cinnamon on top. I've tried this with maple syrup. I've tried this with other sweet jams and jellies on top. Well, I'm gonna doll this up later with a little bergamot compote. This is from Greece. My neighbor gave this to me. It's gonna look fantastic. You'll see it in the pics. It's unbelievable and the taste is, is like a bitter sweet kind of flavor. So when you add this on top, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. But for now, I'm adding my cinnamon, and what I have to do is add the cinnamon over these now because the heat from the rice pudding will actually bring out more of the essential oils and the essential flavors, and that's exactly what we want. So these are also going to go in my refrigerator for a couple, three hours uh, until they cool down and they set before I serve these. But look at this. This is amazing. And what a simple recipe. If you've got a bit of time, it is so worth it. And believe me when I tell you, my friends, this isn't one of these, you know, 10-minute meals. You're going to be running around like a fart in a bottle in your kitchen. This is just real, honest, traditional cooking. So that's it for this episode on how to make my Greek-style rice pudding. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and please share this. Somebody you know, if not yourself, may want to try this. If they're into rice pudding, it's a great little recipe. And until next time, I thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.